What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Trey Long. Welcome back to a brand new video. I just got finished done watching the show on Netflix, Money Heist, or um, El Casa de Papel. De pa paper. But anyway, I watched all four seasons, and when I finished watching the show, I got really sad. So I wanted to make a uh, top five best characters in the show, with no spoilers, um, in my opinion, who, who the best characters are, because I really liked all the characters up there were all really cool. I want to let you guys know I'm doing a giveaway of two Xbox cards and one PS4 card down below, so go check that out. Uh, and you got to do the requirements to get the card and the winners will be announced next week But without further ado, let's get into top five characters in Money Heist El Casa de Papel Let's go. All right. So starting at number five. We got uh, we we got Tokyo. Uh, Tokyo the main character. I uh, honestly I think that she is uh, Honestly, I think she's cool and I think she's one of the better characters because she's kind of badass. She has this edge to her. But she do be screwing things up a lot, so I can't put her really any higher. I mean, I'm not going to spoil anything, but, you know, she'd be messing with other people's feelings. And she'd be messing with, like, the plan and stuff, doing her own thing based on her feelings and her emotions. She's got a lot of hormones going on, and, you know, she is a girl. So it is difficult to really, you know... Uh, pinpoint her character in a certain direction. She's kind of all over the place. She's definitely not static, but she do be doing stupid shit. But at the same time, she do she do be going after it, her friends, the people she loves. She fights for and shit. You know what I'm saying? She got feelings too. I think that you know they could have. I think they did the main character well because it doesn't really feel like she's the main character. Everyone feels included. So we're gonna put Tokyo at number five, and she kind of bad. So give some extra points. I mean, she is Tokyo, so yeah. Coming in at number four. Open the door. I'm not doing that. We have Nalo Nalobi. Nalobi. I you can't say it without the accent. Nalobi. I don't know if I'm doing it right. All right. Nairobi is like the life of the party, bro. She's a girl you want all the time. Like like she's low key like a dream wife, bro. Yeah. But anyway, she be like a really good friend. She be like up in the spirits a lot, and she 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 cares about my man's Helsing. Um, she she respects everyone and tries to do what she thinks is right at all times. You can see her interacting with the hostages more than the other people, and she she's really really nice to everyone. I love that about her. Um, she's really upbeat. And, you know, she has a dark past, but she keeps her high spirits, you know, and that's hard to do. Um, she's often not really someone who pulls the trigger as much as she is someone who really wants to just get the job done, get out. And she starts to, you know, um, print money and stuff. That's kind of her job. She kind of has the math of it. She's smart and she does all that. And she's very, she's very diligent. She gets shit done. So Nello B, is, 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 she's, she's also kind of bad. So she gets extra points too. So that's number four, Nello B. Number three, all right, it's going to be, it's going to be a little bit. It's gonna be a little bit controversial. My man's Berlin. All right, let me tell you why. Berlin, even though he appears to be a douchebag and kind of like the enemy of the group, he is the best actor, I think, personally. Like, I think he has, like, the most charismatic character. He reminds me of that nigga Negan from The Walking Dead, bro. You know what I'm saying? He just be all tough and fat and shit. You know what I'm saying? Berlin. He doesn't really back down. He's not really afraid of anything. And he's kind of a badass, bro. He be, he be, he be, he be killing people. I mean, he'd not be, like, killing people, but he, like, would be killing people. He always pulling a Glock someone's head, bro. So, kind of, you know, he just that guy. I really like what they did with this character because the group needs some type of internal opposition, and he provides that. He's really tough. And besides, he um he is the leader, so they kind of have to listen to him because they know he's the best one and the most calm and the most efficient at doing everything and taking control. And that's why the professor put him in order. And honestly, I think his relationship with everyone is different, which also makes him a cooler character. So that's number three, Berlin for the win. I love that guy, man. I'm happy. Um... I can't spoil anything. Coming in at number two, we got Denver. Now, Denver, at first, I didn't really like him because he's like, <laughs> that laugh, bro. I hate that laugh, bro. It's like tough, but like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but listen, Denver is like really charismatic in the sense that he like loves everyone. You know what I'm saying? Like he has his dad and he looks up to him and he cares about him. And it's just, they, they just have good vibes. He thinks that he isn't really any better than anyone and he can and he'll shoot people. He will shoot people and he he has he has a, a short temper, but he he'll kill you. I mean this man has the face. He he will he will murder you in your sleep. Don't touch his girl, bruh. I would not touch Denver's girl. Like the nigga's name is Denver. That just automatically means he's cooler than the other four characters. I mean he, he his name is Denver. Honestly, I got Denver and Rio confused for like the first three seasons. He's low key a pimp and he be he be scheming on everyone's girl constantly, bruh. That's my nigga Denver. A couple honorable mentions, I'd say. 
are probably one i think we gotta say helsinki helsinki is a very loyal man loyal guard and he just be protecting everyone like he just listens to commands and does what he thinks right is to he will go against the command if he doesn't think it's right but he will usually follow what berlin or whoever's leading with the time says the other honorable mention is rio just because rio is like a really down to heart kid not really supposed to be there probably the most out of place there the weakest link for sure He's just a kid, he's trying to get out of it, he cares about his parents, but at the end of the day, Rio is, he's loyal to the crew and cares about them. He, there, there's new fam. Coming in at numero uno, no, I did Spanish there, numero uno, El Profesor. No doubt this man's the most badass character in the series. No doubt. The professor has just a way with his words, way with his mind, the way with his fighting skills. My man's can my man's can scrap if he needs to. My man's got the Glock on hand just in case. The basic weapon, the basic handgun skill tree. If he really wanted to, he could take your bitch. If he really wanted to, but he don't he don't got time for that. He's too manly. He's worried about the plan. He's not in love with hoes. He's only in love with the heist. The professor deserves a lot more credit than he deserves, bro. I mean, he is everything. And because of that, he becomes the coolest character. He's like socially uh, awkward, but he's still he's still be, he's still be hitting kids by and he's still he be trolling everything he's trying to do stuff on the outside he gets his hands dirty he risks his own life for the crew he'll put anyone before him the professor is the best character in the show not to mention that the acting is on point as well with him ever since the beginning just how calm he was how cool he was how cool he seemed just made it obvious that he was you know he was the guardian angel for tokyo from the beginning he has good relations with everyone he loves his people and you know he he tells them no relationships but obviously he loves them just as much as they love him they trust him he trusts them he's the key behind the show and he's low-key the main character besides tokyo and honestly i don't think anyone's better than him. he's the most fun to watch on screen and always feel like he he he's a step ahead of the police other than that guys i i i think i think that's our list i didn't put any police in there and i think that's because it just didn't feel like any of them really stood out to me without spoiling anything but for the most part i think that was a pretty solid list tell me what you thought tell me what you thought your list was um and put it down in the description tell me who you think you're best characters are and I'll, and, I'll, and, I'll, and I'll comment i'll see i'll see if i agree maybe switch up number two and number four spot that'd be interesting but without further ado guys uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and join that giveaway if you want to win that itunes itunes fucking itunes i hate that that xbox and ps4 card down below that'd be awesome guys without further ado have a good one i'll see you guys in the next one peace